So the other key component to our system here is these pressure sensitive adhesive tapes. This is gonna be your most common size. This is a three and three quarter inch width. And this is what's used to do the seams on our panels. Additionally, we have tape widths in six, nine, and 12 that allow you to do inside corners, outside corners, and the multitude of details that you're gonna run into on a project. So this tape is a high quality acrylic pressure sensitive adhesive. What that means is when we apply this to the panel, we have to use some form of pressure in order to activate the adhesive and get the full benefit of the bond. Something that I can share with you for doing inside corners is, is I like to use the six inch tape. This gives me good adhesion on either side of the corner. And I also like to take and I like to pre-crease the tape in half. What this does is it puts a little bit of memory into the tape and it allows me to work it nice and tight into that corner so I don't have any bridging. Another thing is that I also like to work at arm's length. This means that I have a more manageable piece of tape in order for me to get into these corners without cutting off more than I can chew. So I start by just getting the tape established. And then I'm going to use a spreader right here, or a spatula, which allows me to get in here and detail this tape nice and tight into that corner. Now I can come with my roller, make sure that everything's properly adhered. Generally, we we'll want to start at the bottom of the building and work our way up. Ideally, what we want to do is have our tape lapped in a shingle style fashion like we're all used to with traditional flashing methods. This tape does have the benefit of being what's called self-terminating, which allows us to have reverse laps, but that's not ideal. So best practice is always to have things lapped in a shingle style fashion. On outside corners, I don't mind using the standard three and three quarter inch width tape. And what I do use is I use the little guides here on my edge to make sure that I'm getting my tape on nice and straight, which helps me avoid any wrinkles. So I'll start by working down one side of the corner, getting my tape set into position. So I like to pull the tape around, keeping a little tension in it. Pull it, working in place with my spatula. Just grab part way through, pull a little pressure. 